interesting now, a lot of the amateur coaches will still, to this day, say that a left hook is thrown with the palm facing down, okay? Now, there is a time for when the palm faces down, and it's not something, I need to get this clear, it's not something I'm saying don't do, I'm the opposite of them. I'm saying yes, you can do it, but the vast majority of people, when you get on a punch bag, on the pads, and in a fight, will throw the shot with the palm facing them and the thumb up. I don't understand why this is still a thing when the evidence is out there to the contrary. It does make me upset. Like I say, there are times when we do loop a left hook and come down with our, with our palm down. Yes, it's something we can do. But nobody stands there and lets me throw a hook like this the way it's taught. They're there, they're at that fighting distance. So I need to hook it round, okay? Hook it round. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna see that thumb up and the palm facing. The bell cannot save Tony Thornton, he's up. He's the one who said it would be a quick From nowhere, pin flush on the chin. <laughs> Just hey, when you think he's getting beat. You all right? For the Went down to the second straight. Prince Nassim Hamid is now. Another reason I prefer that way is because you've got supination. Again, technical here, it's not me, but the bicep contracts. So you're going to have a harder shot on impact. Here's that perfectly timed left hook. Oh my gosh! Left hook drops him, and then he hit his head off the turnbuckle. He takes the mandatory eight time. Okay, so you can teach it from the manual all you like, but it's a myth. So why not cut out that middleman? And I've seen YouTube videos where people teach it this way. And the left hook is right across the center, right here. And then automatically demonstrate it that way. Good job, again. Good. Good job, again. Good. So we're going to throw some left hooks. Let me give you a little breather, yeah? So we're going to throw a one-two hook now, just build that combination, nice and simple, one-two hook. Boy, good shot. That's it, that's it, that's it, good boy. That's lovely, that's beautiful. See how hard that's going to be very hard to deal with after that. There you go, good boy. Good, that's good. How are his feet moving to set one punch up to the next? With the jab, he's going to be taking a slight step in. The right hand's going to, as you can see, just take him off the center line. That's going to set up that left hook perfectly. So simple, don't, don't overcomplicate it. If I throw my weight in that direction, I need to stand back up. So when you stand back up, you stand yourself back up with the left hook. It depends, again, the situation dictates. It depends on what the reaction's like from the fighter. But if I'm stuck up against the ropes, and he's hitting me with a right hand, he's gonna be able to get that left hook off. He's right. definitely gonna be able to get it off. If I'm out in the center ring and he hits me with a right hand, he ain't gonna get the left hook, but he can still come back with a jab. Longer range shot. Right. But train for the probability, I suppose. Yeah, train for everything. Um, but, but something like this is a good habit. Finish on the front hand, it's going to stand you back up. If you're throwing a left hook, it's bringing you back. If you're throwing a jab, the left hand's bringing you back. Got it, thank you. Right.